Imagine you are running a major e-commerce platform. During a flash sale, users flood your site with purchase requests while background tasks like sending email confirmations and processing payments stack up. Without a proper isolation, a failure in the background process could slow down or even crash your whole platform. This is where the bulkhead pattern comes into play, protecting your critical services from cascading failures. Just like bulkheads in a ship prevent water from flooding the entire vessel, the bulkhead pattern isolates system components to limit the impact of failures, ensuring the rest of the system remains operational. When a user visits your site to browse products or make purchases, the system processes HTTP requests in real time. At the same time, the application might also be handling background tasks like sending order confirmation emails, processing payment data, or running periodic database cleanups. To implement the bulkhead pattern here, you can assign separate thread pools to these distinct workloads. So for example, you can create a dedicated thread pool for handling HTTP request. This thread pool ensures that your user interaction, such as browsing or purchasing, are prioritized. By isolating these threads, you ensure that a surge in background tasks doesn't cause the website to slow down or become unresponsive for users. You can also assign another thread pool for background jobs, such as email notification or data processing. This pool operates asynchronously and doesn't interfere with real-time user interactions. Even if this background task get delayed or encounter issues, it won't impact the user experience on the front end. So during a Black Friday sale, your e-commerce platform might face an overload. Let's say without bulkheads, a surge in background process like sending email notification eats up all the system resources. This causes user-facing tasks like browsing or checking out to slow down or fail entirely. With bulkheads, however, these processes are isolated. Even if background tasks hit their limit, users can still shop without any interruptions because the two workloads don't compete for the same resources. But with bulkheads, these processes are isolated. Even if background tasks are delayed, your user-facing services like browsing or completing purchases continue to run smoothly, ensuring a seamless shopping experience. Now, beyond thread pools, bulkheads can also be applied in other critical areas of your system depending upon where you need isolation. For instance, in microservices architecture where several services share the same database, one service could hog all the connections. By using database connection bulkheads, you can allocate specific connection pools to each service. If one service overconsumes its pool, others won't be affected, ensuring smooth database operations across the board. Similarly, you can use memory and CPU bulkheads to prevent resource-heavy services from starving others of essential resources. Certain services might be memory-intensive, while others are lightweight. Without bulkhead, a memory-heavy service could consume all the available memory, leading to system crashes. You can use resource limits to allocate specific CPU and memory quotas to each service. For example, in containerized environments like Kubernetes, you can easily enforce these limits using resource requests and limits to prevent one service from hogging all system resources. Some services in your architecture may be mission critical, like an authentication service, while others are non-essential, like a recommendation engine. Service-level bulkheads isolate critical services into separate bulkheads by ensuring they have dedicated resources and higher priority in the system. This ensures that critical paths remain available even when less important services face issues. In systems that handle variety of tasks, like web application processing both user requests and internal operations, you can use thread-level bulkheads, wherein you assign a dedicated thread pools for distinct types of tasks. For example, user-facing services might have their own threads, while background jobs like data syncing are allocated to a different pool. This prevents one type of task from overloading the systems and slowing down others. Now, when implementing a bulkhead pattern, there are some key factors you want to consider. Not all services in your system have the same level of importance. Start by identifying which services are critical and which can tolerate failures or slowdowns. Typically, services involved in payment processing or authentication are mission critical, while a recommendation engine or email service is less so. Properly allocate resources like threads, memory, and database connections to each service. Too many resources allocated to a non-critical service can lead to a waste, while too few resources for a critical service could cause failures. Monitoring isn't just nice to have, it's critical. Without proper monitoring, it's easy for bulkheads to either be underutilized or overwhelmed. Tools like Prometheus or Kubernetes Horizontal Pod Autoscaling or HPA allow you to monitor resource usage in real time, dynamically scaling your services as traffic spikes. Without this, your bulkheads could unintentionally create bottlenecks. And in some systems, it makes sense to adjust bulkheads dynamically. For instance, 
During peak traffic times, you might want to allocate more resources to user-facing services while limiting background jobs temporarily. And finally, think about how failures will be contained. If a service fails, the bulkhead should protect the system from cascading failures. But you also need to ensure that the system has the right fallback mechanism in place to maintain functionality. Now, while the bulkhead pattern can dramatically improve resilience, there are several challenges you need to watch out for. Partitioning resources and managing isolated thread pools or connection limits adds complexity to your system. You will need to constantly adjust and tune this setting as your system evolves and scales. And if you misconfigured bulkheads, say by giving a non-critical service too many resources, you could end up with critical services underperforming. For example, imagine accidentally over-allocating resources to your recommendation service while your payment service gets starved for threads. Maintaining separate resource pools and thread limits introduces overhead. While bulkheads improve resilience, they can also result in resource underutilization if you are not careful. Finding the right balance between services can be tricky. Too much isolation can lead to inefficient use of system resources, while too little can fail to prevent cascading failures. While bulkheads can add complexity and require constant tuning, the trade-off is well worth it. By compartmentalizing your services and resources, you protect your critical system from cascading failures and ensure better uptime and reliability, especially in high traffic scenarios. So whether you're running a high traffic microservices system or preparing for your next big sales event, the bulkhead pattern is a must for ensuring resilience and service uptime. Have you ever implemented the bulkhead pattern in your architecture? If so, share your experiences in the comments. I'd love to hear how it worked for you and what challenges you have faced.